Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a unique piece of American history, the 1943 Mercury Dime. Ever wondered why it's called the Mercury Dime? Or how much one might be worth today? Stick around because we're about to explore its fascinating design, historical background, and factors that influence its value in today's collector market. Let's get into it. The story of the Mercury Dime begins in 1916 when the U.S. Treasury commissioned new designs for the 10-cent quarter and half-dollar coins. Artist Adolf Weinman was chosen to create the dime's design. But there was a twist. While people quickly called it the Mercury Dime, that name was actually a mistake. The figure on the coin's obverse isn't the Roman god Mercury but is, in fact, Lady Liberty wearing a winged cap. Her depiction represents freedom of thought and the winged cap is a symbol of liberty and freedom. Despite the mix-up, the nickname stuck, and it's been known as the Mercury Dime ever since. The Mercury Dime features Lady Liberty in profile on the obverse, with her curls beneath a cap known as a pileus. Weinman designed this to represent free thought, with liberty arched above and in God we trust below. The reverse side is equally symbolic. It shows a facis, a bundle of sticks with an axe in the middle, symbolizing unity and strength, with an olive branch wound around it to represent peace. This intricate design not only made the coin iconic, but also instilled it with deep meanings reflecting American values. In 1943, over 324 million mercury dimes were produced across three mints, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Each of these coins carries a specific mint mark, Philadelphia coins bear no mark, Denver has a D, and San Francisco an S. Philadelphia produced the most coins that year, with nearly 192 million, while the San Francisco mint produced around 60 million. The Denver mint, while producing fewer coins, still saw many of these dimes survive to this day, making them a common find among collectors. One unique detail collectors look for is known as the full band designation. This refers to the horizontal bands on the faces on the reverse side of the coin. If these bands are clearly separated with no breaks in the design, the coin receives the full band designation, indicating a higher quality strike. This small detail can significantly affect a coin's value. For instance, a Philadelphia Mercury dime with the full band designation can be worth much more than one without it, especially at high grades. The value of a 1943 Mercury dime varies widely, primarily based on its condition and mint mark. Coins in lower grades can start around $5, but higher grade specimens, especially those with full bands, can command prices well into the hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Philadelphia mint coins without the full band designation in good condition are around $45, while full band dimes can soar up to $15,000 at MS68+. Coins from the San Francisco Mint are highly sought after for their proof-like qualities, with some fetching prices over $4,000. The 1943 Mercury Dime isn't just a piece of currency. It's a symbol of American history, artistry, and freedom. From its intriguing misnomer to the detailed elements that make it so collectible today, this dime has captivated collectors for decades. So, whether you're an experienced numismatist or just discovering the world of coin collecting, the Mercury Dime is a fascinating addition to any collection. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more deep dives into fascinating collectibles. See you next time.